title of this mini podcast is Dreams. There are so many philosophies about dreams that I thought I would add my own to the mix. Dreams have thousands of years of recorded history, and according to DreamMoods.com, there are over 700 references to them in the Bible. Seems most everyone has them, and the sleep researchers tell us that we dream three to five times a night, even if we can't remember them upon awakening. Rapid eye movement, or REM sleep, is when dreams occur. Then there are daydreams. Here we slip off into our little escape trance and imagine something that's not our current reality. So why do they happen and what do they mean? The real answer is, I haven't a clue. Kind of like the people who put Whoopi Goldberg on the radio years ago. Yet, I've been given a gentle nudge from the grasshopper to offer up this view on dreams. Dreams, like everything else we experience, are energy forms. Everything is made up of energy. Ask Einstein. Even your slug of a brother-in-law. We receive an abundance of stimulation through our senses each day. Our limited conscious resources are not equipped to process at all. So the overflow goes into our unlimited subconscious reservoir. When we get into a relaxed state, these bits of energy come out to play. They hopscotch all over the place and dress themselves up in incongruity like a colorblind fashion designer. That's why you say something like, I dreamt of our old house last night, but it really wasn't our old house. This abundance of stored data can easily explain why many dreams resemble patchwork quilts, bits of unrelated data being weaved together like an episode of Twin Peaks. What about the dreams you remember vividly and the ones that have the same subject matter showing up? These dreams are clues as to where you have blocked energy. The dreams that stand out and the ones that recur are signals that you have some house cleaning to do. They may be fears or frustrations that you hold or clues to action that is necessary. If you dream you're being chased but your legs won't move, that's obviously about fear. If you dream that you're continually thwarted in an attempt to do something, that would indicate frustration. If you know a disc jockey in radio broadcasting, ask them about the radio dream. They've all had it many times. It's some version of this. They're in a radio studio. It's not their studio. They can't find the next piece of music they're looking for, and the song currently playing is coming to an end. Everything is wrong. The microphone won't work, the CD player jams, or the computer with all the recorded data crashes. These are blocked energy forms that sit below consciousness that need to be house-cleaned. What keeps showing up in your waking life? It's blocked energy keeping that occurrence alive. Are you walking around fearful and frustrated or in a quandary as to what to do next? These are clues about blocked energy. My pal Jonathan Mansky does work with businesses that have blocked energy. He can walk into your business, meet with the major players, and isolate where the blocked energy is and help you release it or transmute it so that there are no blockages to its necessary flow. Jonathan has a visual kinesthetic exercise to help unblock energy, which I call the brown sugar exercise. Imagine for a moment that you have a clump of sand or brown sugar in your hand. Then further imagine that this clump represents the blocked energy that's causing your waking or sleeping nightmare to continually show up. The next step is to visualize and feel yourself crumbling these clumps back into the individual granules that made them up. This is a very powerful exercise that, when repeated over time, has measurable results. If you judge this exercise in your head and dismiss it out of hand because you can't logically understand it, your blocked energy will stay stuck. Use it and amaze yourself how effective it can be. The first key to restoring energy flow is to recognize blockages exist. Your recurring dreams and your life leave clues every day as to where those blockages are. Then do some regular house cleaning. All the best, John.